Hello, welcome to our semiconductor education program. I'm Vincent Chen. In this video, I'm going to teach you how to calculate the efficiency of the class A upstage. So class A upstage part three, efficiency. So I just remember uh, when I was a college student, I really don't know what's going on with this. Well, how to calculate a lot of formulas. So I, I just cannot figure it. I just couldn't figure this out. But I hope uh, through this lecture, you will get very clear understand, uh, understanding step by step and very uh, clear rationale, the logic uh, uh, approach to get this result. And each term, you, you can understand uh, what's the definition, what's the each term uh, is all about. So first, before we go into the efficiency, let me start with uh, the, the power, power, okay? The three powers. The first one is time average. When you deal with this, you have to do the time average. So time average, supply power. So um, it just reminds me of a, a candle, okay? So think about a candle. Candle burn herself, but lighten others, right? So same thing with this. So the supply power. So supply power, the supply is for it consume herself, but supply others. Okay? So for the positive supplier, for the for the positive power, the positive supply power, supply. It means the direction of supply. So you, you maybe get a little bit confused of, of, about the negative supply. For the for the for the current, for the negative power, so look at the 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 negative supply for the is the sink, right? So it's the sink. So if you look at the direction of the, the the sink current, if the supply current is positive, the sink should be negative. So negative current times negative voltage becomes the positive positive power. So positive power means what? Positive power means consume, and negative power means gain. So consume the supply power from two directions. Supply power from two directions. And deliver to where? To load. So deliver to load power. So low power. So the green power is the low time average low power. So based on the conservation of energy or conservation of power, if you supply 100, there's a 50 on the top, and 50 on the bottom. So if we supply 100 and deliver 20, so what's the rest of the 80? What's the rest of the 80? Dissipated. It's the waste. <laughs> it's a dissipated power. Okay? So supply equals what? Equals load plus dissipated. So the dissipated 80 equals supply 100, deduct load 20 okay so ps minus pl equals pd here comes the efficiency the definition of the efficiency is the how much percentage come from the supply got delivered to the load okay so load power on the top and the bottom the denominator is the supply power so low power time average divided by supply power and times 100% is the definition of the efficiency of uh, an upstage, all right? So now let's assume a sinusoidal output signal with an amplitude of VP. So then you can have an instantaneous load power. So R, so VO squared divided by RL, and they just plug in. So so the lowercase p is the instantaneous low power, okay? So the capital P, and there's the, the hat on the top, right? So it's the time average load power. So you just take the time integration, the indi integration over with respect time over the whole period and divide by the period, all right? All right, so just plug in and then try to deal with this integration. So, so uh, if you have ever learned the trig uh, 
the metric trigonometric function algebra, you can you have this right sine square omega t equals one uh, equals this one minus cosine two omega t divided by two, and then you plug in. So just pay attention to this. So pay attention to this. So this is the cosine wave. So over you do the time integration over the cosine two omega t. You over uh, do a time integration integration over a period, and then you were vanished. You were vanished. Uh, you contribute nothing to the time average low power. So here's the time average low the power. You just pull out the 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 half, the one over two. All right. So now we get the first uh, nail down. Okay. So time average low power. Let's move on to what's the denominator? The supply power. So the supply power. Let's start with the negative supply because it's easier. As I said this earlier, the supply voltage negative, but the sink is the sink current, so it's also negative. So negative times negative equals positive. So this is the time average negative supply power. So what about the positive, the, the, the one on the top? So remember, the time average of the top current, the collected current is what? <laughs> it's the bias current, right? So I, I talked about it, this in the previous video so it's the time average of the ic1 equals iq all right so these two terms these two items put it together and you got time average supply power which is the denominator you keep the numerator on the top the time average low power and then you plug in the efficiency then you can get this result you can get this result. I, I, I do this in, intentionally, just pull out a quarter, one over fourth. Why? Even in the best scenario, what's the best scenario? The amplitude, the signal amplitude, equals supply voltage. And supply voltage is the, is, happens to be the product of the bias current, IQ, times RL. So, in other words, every piece is fall together, okay? So this is the best scenario. So in this best scenario, what's the efficiency? 25%. What does that mean? That means at least for this kind of upper stage, I, I'm kind of mocking this kind of upper stage, at least 75% of the supply got wasted, becomes the heat, okay? So only at best scenario, only 25% of the supply got delivered to the load. So in the audio uh, amplifier application, let's say the load could be a, a, a speaker, right? So got only 25% got delivered to the speaker. Okay, so here's the takeaway. Uh, here are the first takeaway is the definition of efficiency. I hope you can get understanding. Don't try to memorize the formula. You got to understand the meaning of the definition, okay? So low power and supply power, okay? So definition of efficiency. Number two, <laughs> in terms of efficiency, this is kind of, this kind of sucks, okay? It's the low efficiency of stage. Low efficiency, the best scenario, 25%. So two takeaway, I hope you can, not only understanding the, the detail, how to get the calculation uh, of the efficiency, but understand each every detail of the process throughout the definition, throughout the derivation of the efficiency process. Thanks for watching. This is the end of the, the lecture. Thanks for watching.